Hello and welcome to LLA, Lorenzo Luca Anonymous. I will not sign Lorenzo Luca. I will not sign Lorenzo Luca, even if I can afford him, even if they accept a bid, even if he wants to join us, even if he'd accept a contract, even if I just tested it just to see if he would and he did, but I haven't. I swear down. I'm getting major withdrawals. Anyway, welcome to episode two, season two of Building FC St. Paul. As always, thanks for joining me. Really do appreciate it. Massively appreciate it. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. Especially in the UK with this crazy ass storm that's blowing trees everywhere. Wheelie bins at my car. My kids' trampolines and they flew off out the garden. Crazy. So I hope you're safe. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this second episode, second season. It's um, great, this game. I love this game. And wow, what a lot of work I've got to do and what a lot of work I've done, but what a lot of fun it is. And I guarantee you I haven't signed Lorenzo Luca. God, did I want to. But who did I sign? Well, wow, quite quite a few. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to start right here on the bank balance on the 30th of July. And at this moment in time, I'm actually still in talks with three players who would do sign. Um, so we're going to look at them later. And the bank balance looks really healthy. And I've brought in about 20 players. Um, now I love the NFL. Love it to pieces and I use a lot of NFL terminology sometimes. Well, I made some notes here because we cannot go through them all. Right? But <laughs> 15 players I have a left on a free contract or somewhere else or I cut them they went and I sold 25 players now these are all out like the first team we've got a second team don't forget and some for a good few, about of money I saw the goalkeeper for 3 million quid bits and bats here or there and weirdly I know this is weird but I sold 25 players and made 25 million now I've spent some money but I've also brought in an absolute crap ton of free signings. So I'm going to look at the squad at the halfway point when we go to January. Just because that's when they're all there, all in place. You might actually be able to see who's playing when you look at their attributes and so on. And the statistics at the bottom of the page. Um, but yeah, I had a ton of fun. I can't lie. You never know with this game what you're going to get. Each summer's new, fresh, exciting is for me. And you don't know who's out there, who's available. And... Bayern Munich, right? If you're in England and you're wanting good young players, you have to go to City maybe. You've got loads of them and you have to loan them. If you wanted to buy them off City, it costs you a lot of money. City are like the waitrose, the football manager, right? Bayern Munich, if you're in Germany, are like Aldi. They've got bags of players they don't want, players who don't want to be there, young players, who you can get for fucking next to nothing. I swear down. So I can't wait to share the squad with you, but let's look at a few other things first. Now we're going to need some money. The wage bill doesn't get crazy big. It gets a little bit bigger than what it is right there. Probably about 650, I think. Um, but it's a good year for improving the club. And you know me, I love to improve a club. And they've got to improve the youth facilities, the training facilities and youth recruitment. Just in case I forget, we do both of them again during this current season, which is awesome. And we also do something else which costs us a lot of money. I went to pre-season and, and I decided to stay local. I went to Austria, um, played no, no one massive. I just wanted to kick some teams' asses. And I'm going to kick off the season over good, 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 easy chance in the DFB Pokal. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, and then there we go with the season. We've got Derby Day, fourth game into the season. We've got the, um, going up against Heidenheim and we pinched the title off in the third game. Um, but yeah, super excited for this because I didn't know what I was going to... I completely rebuilt the squad. There's only a handful of players still here from last season. Completely rebuilt it. Some of them who I was contemplating keeping, maybe on 15 grand a week, wanted new contracts, wanted 30 grand a week. So if I could sell them for a million quid, I did. So I, I did a lot. There's a big turnaround. So you never know. Is it, are they going to gel? Are they going to work? But I really believe the squad you're going to see later is it's not a squad for the future parts of it are but i really think it's one of them a squad that can keep us in this league so excited i forgot to save it because when i do these i don't have automatic save on um i save it myself and i just I carried on i stayed up mega late and just plowed through it and got all the way to this point and realized yeah um i've not saved it so it's the first of january that's why we're looking at a squad now 
But from the last point, there was lots still to do. It was signing on three players. I had to uh, bring in some new staff members. My assistant manager retired. So he came back He came back after 11 years out of the game <laughs> to be my assistant for a season and then retired. But we've improved that. Now, this is the staff and they won't let me improve the coaching team. They won't let me bring any more spots in. Um, so it is what it is. I mean, it's still decent. I'd love it to be better. But it gives me something to work for, something to achieve. What I have done is I've brought in my favourite striker of all time, Iman Rooney, the two best strikers we've ever had at Manchester United. Ruud van Nistelrooy is a god to me. I love this man. And he's my new assistant. I also have Dennis. I think I mentioned it in the last episode, but it might have hit the chopping room floor. Dennis Bergkamp comes everywhere with me on FM22. He's always available. Normally he buggers off, but at Venezia he stayed with me and I'm hoping he stays. And I've also signed Miroslav Klose. Is that how you say his name? I'm butchering it. If you're German, I know some of you are. You, you wouldn't think I'm part German, would you? I'm shocking. Um, I brought him in as a coach as well. They are three absolute top, top class players. Teaching my boys. Love it. So let's run through this squad, eh? It is January the 1st, I know. And you're going to be able to see who's been playing and who's not. Um, but it is what it is. Now, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, it's a work in progress. And I'll talk you through it as we go through it. Now, my new backup goalkeeper is Christian Brochtel. That's what I'm going for. Uh, it cost me a whopping, from Bayern Munich 2, a whopping 21 and a half grand. Now, my new goalkeeper is also from FC Bain. I've, in fact, signed six players from FC Bain that were either transfer listed or I've gone in for them and they've accepted or they were opting out. One of them was opting out to leave at the end of his deal, so they sold him to me on the cheap. Now, this guy cost me 1.1 million and he wasn't my original choice. He was another keeper I wanted. But I've signed a lot of free players, older, and it, they just started flat out refusing. Anyone who wasn't 20... I've, never, I've not seen that before. Anyone who wasn't 23 and under, they were just like, no. The one area of the team I really want to concentrate on next year is my fullbacks. I think we've added to it a little bit, but I really want to I really want to improve my fullbacks next year. So my backup right back this year is Sebastian Olsen, the Swede, who was already here. Now my new right back, I know him, I know his face, I know his name. I cannot say his name. The Croatian with 64 caps, who's played for Atletico Madrid, Inter Milan and many, many other clubs. 30 years old. Signed on a free. We've signed a new left back on a free. And I really want to call him Tim Handwanker. Because I'm an immature. It's Tim Handworker. At left back and still here is this chap. Feel free to try and say his name. I butchered it in the last episode. 28 year old Kosovan whose contract's coming up. And I was wondering, do I keep him? Do I keep him? Well, I do end up offering him a deal. At centre half, we've got Francesco Vicari and no. I didn't have him at Venezia and he's not great, but he was free. And if he can do a little job for me this year and we can sell players like this on next year, I'm all for that. I've also signed on a free Sean Morrison. Lots of freebies. Yeah, the free agency market was rocking. Um, but yeah, the Irishman, only 31 years old, I think it's brilliant on paper, signed for just over half a million quid. I mean, what's that for a player that looks this decent? 22 year old German Lucas May. My May. Wow. This one I'm really excited about. Cost me just over 6 million quid. Felix Ndokai. Yeah, he's German. He's 25. Apparently, he can improve a little bit, but I'm very happy with this kid. I think um, this is brilliant. This is, this is part of what I want to build a German team with a bit of youth in it. I've got a new defensive midfielder, Stefan Ilsanka who has got bags of experience. I know he's 33, 54 caps. He's played for the Red Bulls, Salzburg and Leipzig. And he's been at Frankfurt for a couple of years. His star rating don't blow you away, but his experience is good. He's only here for a year. He probably will only be here for a year. Backing him up and signed for no, a money. I think it was 4 million quid, something like that. Is Jean Manuel Umbom. Umbom. He is the bomb. A very good, I think, young German, 22 year old defensive midfielder. In the middle, I've kept Finn Becker, um, signed a new deal, or he ends up signing a new deal. He had a lot of interest, to be fair. Again, 22 years old, he's a German, could improve a little bit more, was great for me last year. Also signed Adrian Fein, or Fein, um, from Bayern, uh, for 725 grand. 
So he's not a BM, he's not going to get in the BM unit team, is it? 23. It's, it's time for him to move on. I've signed this lad on a free because he was free and he's from United and I love United. I'm a United fan. He's only 22. My my scouts loved him. He had an A+. Plus. He's just not been able to get in the team, but I mean, you can always move him on. His value ain't great. He's here for now. Signed on a free. He used to play for Porto. It's Mamadou Loom. 26 years old. Only got two caps, but again, he's free. Another freebie. Zakaria Labayad. <laughs> uh, he's from Ajax. Uh, 29 years old. Moroccan. Only got six caps, but I think a good little player for now. Oliver Basti Maya. On loan last year. I'd not thought about getting him, um, but when I kept going back to Bayern Munich and there were certain players, like, like I said, available, transfer listed or opting out, he wasn't anything. He was up for loan and I just put an offer in and they only wanted a million quid. He was great for me last year, he could play all over the front, so he's back and he's ours. Patrick Roberts, right, good player, 25 years old, he's been out on loan everywhere, right, and he was free, right, and I didn't know, I don't, I don't know why, but I was questioning it, he looks good, I was like, really, should I, is it going to be any good? He's brilliant, he's possibly my best player. Another player on a free, and I think I've bought Morocco's wingers, basically. Got the right winger from Morocco. Uh, I'm not going to say his name. I'm going to try to say his name. Cost me nothing. Now, up top, I've got three strikers now. Uh, we kept Bergerman, the Burger store man himself, because he's old, but he did really well for me last year. But this is definitely going to be his last year. When his contract runs out, he'll be off. Signed for 1.4 million. 1.4 million. Joshua Zerke from Bayern Munich. He's just surplus the requirements there. He was one of them kids with loads of potential. A uh, bit of a Vignato from Italy. And um, a Venezia save. And I don't know if he's going to reach it in real life, but I remember in older games, he could become absolutely amazing for 1.4 million quid. My biggie signing is this young man, Jean Tillman, right? From Colne, who got relegated. Five and a half million he cost me. He, a, he has a five and a half million pound minimum fee. And some other teams are coming in from, I think, Union Berlin and um, Veda Bremen with the other one, I think. But he chose us, so I was well happy with this. He's, I mean, he's not a Lorenzo Luca kind of player. He's a bit different. He's a bit smaller, a lot smaller, nearly a foot smaller. But he's got a lot of potential and he excites me. I think he could be a good player. So because we're at the 1st of January, let's just jump straight in to the Bundesliga and we're seventh. Seventh. Won seven, I've drawn four, and I've lost seven. And these are the results. It's very pretty. Lots of lovely colours there. Um, no real form. But we've had a patch there where we've won three games on the bounce. But we've had some good results. We've had some bad results. And th this is just better. This is better than I was expecting. When you completely rebuild a squad, I mean, how many players did I keep there? Three? Is it three players, I think, from last year's team in that first team squad? You don't know how it's going to work. And... Anything can happen, but good things have happened, and I am very happy with where we're at. Doesn't mean we're going to stay there, but I'm really, I'm really excited about this team now because we've got a lot of young players in, mainly Germans. I've spent the whole half, first half of the season, just scouting young Germans in the Bundesliga, in the Bundesliga two, trying to find other players like I've already got, and I do. I find one, um, and I find one from abroad. But like I said, it's a work in progress, and I don't know if you noticed. But we beat our rivals again with, with the Kings of Hamburg. Let's look at the goals. So here we go. And my new boy, Thielman, that's what I call him. Um, trying to do his best Lorenzo Luca impression watch. Heads it in. Second goal was brilliant. Good bit of football. I love this. Watch this. Nice little bit of passing. Ding, ding, ding. Threads it through. 2-0. And the last one, simple. Nice corner. Nice header. 3-0. On to the DFB Paul Cal. Love this cup. And we started off brilliantly, um, winning 3-1, even though we took it to extra time. Fair enough, scoring two goals in three minutes. Then we faced Schalke, beating them 2-1. These two boys, Roberts is brilliant, by the way. Uh, and then I've drawn Wolfsburg. I win this. Um, I'd like to win it one day. It's all about, honestly, all I cared about was staying in the Bundesliga. And at this point, I was seventh, thinking, Europe? Now, if you look at the squad, you'll see I've got no one like who's amazing but as a team they're doing enough and that's all I need from them this year just do enough to stay in the league there's some players who want to leave some players want new contracts 
There's going to be a lot of players that leave again. There's going to be a big turnaround in the summer again. I know there is, but I don't care. Um, I believe in what we're doing and I think we'll be okay. And I really felt like we could stay in the league this year. And that was the most important thing. Because if you look at the bookies, I know it's halfway through the season now, but if we go to there, you'll see, you know, they didn't have us down as relegation favourites. Got us finishing 14th. So that gave me a bit of hope it's looking at my squad the algorithm or however it works and thinking you know you're good enough now here's the finances and you're probably thinking fuck it now you're nearly 50 million quid i did but this club's really invested this year training facilities twice youth facilities twice they also agreed to spend 15 million expanding the stadium i love this club it's my kind of club let's improve the infrastructure as well and Let's proper kick on and grow. The capacity is going to be going from a 29 and a half to a 35,000. Yeah. Oh, man. It excites me this game so much. Now, if you've got a good eye, you might notice where we are in the league. We're 12th, which I am completely cool with. I don't care as long as I stay here. I don't want to be in a relegation fight. I don't want that stupid playoff that our arch rivals are currently in. I want to stay in this league. I'm not dreaming about Europe or anything. This is a slow process, a slow build, I feel. And... I feel like I'm doing things the right way. The club's improving the infrastructure, the stadium. I'm, I've got a real good core of young players. And you might remember last year we had an excellent youth intake. Didn't I? Some absolute worldies. We've had another one. Two five-star youngsters. Two five-star youngsters. I mean, look. This club. Where have you been all my life? It's like... My perfect wet dream football manager club. I mean, quality to add to what I've already got, which means next season, year three, I really need to start looking at them. And only 15, 16, so I might be 17 by then. And saying, right, do a gamble, even if we end up bottom of the league, fighting it out maybe, to give them first team football. So let's jump over to the poll, Carl, and we're out of it. Not signed the third round by Wolfsburg. 2 1. We tried, I went 1 0 up early doors. Um, but you know, they're a better team, they've got better quality at the moment so I'm okay with that less football to play and get through a season quicker concentrate on staying in the league because we kind of need to concentrate on staying in the league because you can see yeah second half of the season hasn't been brilliant we've won, won one game one game they drew with Hamburg 1-1 one, one, with a 94th minute equaliser for my new little favourite striker and at half time, we gone down to 10 men, and then we start fanning around at the back here. I mean, it's fair play to him, this is some shot, but it pissed me off. I thought we were doomed here, they were going to get revenge. And after having a goal disallowed, at the absolute death of the game, we just did not give up. We showed that spirit in the derby and pulled the point back. But with five games to go and the kind of form we got stuck in, we needed something, we needed a spark, we needed a run because we were 12. We weren't too far off really, were we? We weren't too far off the bottom. And this is a cracking league, anything can happen. So, well, what did happen? Well, this happened. We need, I said that because I knew what was happening. We needed a spark. Now, this Wolfsburg game, it's Wolfsburg, knocks us out the cup. I mean, you can't explain football sometimes, especially football manager. And I felt like this away from home was just one of the best victory we've had since I've been manager because of just the way it felt right and then to go on and then beat Berlin then we beat them and I think we should 1-0 uh, and then to beat Leipzig right it was amazing so of course nothing special this is the live com we're away from home against Frankfurt and no cup finals yet boys and girls if there's any girls watching so we're ninth in the league and safe I mean we could anything can happen Frankfurt at 12th I mean, I've got no one special, but as a little team, they've got a ton of character, won 12, drawn 9, lost 12. But I can see something in a lot of these players that has given me a lot of hope and excites me for future seasons. And I just hopefully can find the right players at the right times. So here we go, we kick off here in Frankfurt. Um, not good enough to be on TV, unfortunately. It's not the most important game. Well, it is for us. It is for me and you, isn't it? Um, here's Roberts, easily my best player this year. He's been fantastic on a freebie. <gasps> Getting scrambled in by Jan. It was definitely a goal. Scrappy goals, I don't care. In, in off your bum cheek, in off your face. It doesn't matter. 1-0, we're winning. Now, I'm a, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit tipsy. It's mega late. It's like 2 in the morning or something. Um, my wife's not great, although she's supposed to cut the tea. I've come home from work. I've had to cut the tea. 
we put the kids to bed. I might have had a glass of wine here or there, maybe four or five. Um, so yeah, I've just got to film when I can film because I want to get this out for the weekend because I'm going out this weekend. Saturday night, I am out with the lads for my mate's birthday. Everyone's out, all my mates, even guys I've seen for ages. It's like the whole crew from my youth. So I'm super excited. Don't let them get back into this. So Sunday's going to be a wipeout for me. So this is my opportunity right now. Film while I'm a little bit tipsy or film while I'm in a coma on Sunday. And I want to get this out for you on Saturday. That's the plan. Right, come on. Ooh, I want to win, I want to win. Jesus. Yeah, I pretty much said this is my best team on the pitch. Um, me right back was carrying a knock. I don't know if he's going to see out the entire game. Jesus Christ. Right, Dr. Lads, some encouragement. We're better than these. We are better than these. Although we didn't much to play for. I do know that. Jesus, Basti, mate. No, oh, come on. Well, there we are. It's half time, and this has took a turn for the worst. Down 10 men. I've had to go strikeless, and I hate doing that, but it's what I've gone for. I do want to take this moment, though, to thank you for coming back for episode two. <laughs> you absolute legend. All right, come on. The brown and white. I'm wearing my uh, Goonies shirt today. So if you noticed, skull and crossbones. I'm running out of skull stuff, though. I'll be honest with you. Don't know how long that's going to last. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Do you like this club? It is cool. And that is even cooler. Who need no, come on, referee. The goal was awarded. Rude Van Nisseroy, great striker of all time, wants me to go very defensive. Come on, let's put this game to bed. Let's put this game to bed. He's a great little pickup on a freebie. Love it. If you ever had him before, let me know how he's done for you. Go on, Jan lad. Who needs Luca? Made a couple of changes, fitness changes. Right back in the central midfielders off. And what the frig is going on now? Ah, come on, man. Come on. Come on. You know you want to save it. Flap your arms. You need to flap your arms. He didn't flap his arms. Do you know what, though? Ten men. We've not done bad. Shown character here. As long as we don't completely collapse. Oh, my. We're trying our best to, though. We're trying our best to collapse. Don't collapse, boys. I'll take this point with ten men. I seriously would. Well, there you go. I couldn't give you a victory. I couldn't. But 2-2, two, two, I think, is pretty respectable with the way the game was. Um, I'm all right with that. Two goals for my new player, look. I just sat the striker off completely. Nothing too fancy for me. I'm no tactician, but I'm happy with that. And I'm very happy with ninth, especially because we're only four points off. Well, it's like a European spot, which did get taken by Heidenheim. So fair play to them, you bastards. Because they only came up with us, didn't they? So fair play. It's now the 1st of June, and that's what I've got to play with. But I've also got to think... I did some great deals this year and you know if i can find something similar i will do but i've got these kids now i know they're what 17 16 years old all right i know that so they're not ready but when are they going to be ready do you chuck them into the fire i mean he is ready his finishing's eight i know but he's a right replacement as a third striker for burger start at 17. i mean do i just put him in the first team next year as squad fillers let me know, what would you do? FC Bayern did the domestic double. I mean, we are miles off a team like this. Their finances are next level, but I've knocked them off their perch before. Can we do it again one day? And I'm really happy with my new favorite young striker. You can pick him up too after one year for five and a half million from Colm. Check him out, I think he's good. And I think he'll get better. And I'm expecting big things from him next year. Next year's gonna be a big season, which I'll spend on the couch on Sunday recovering from a night out bashing through um loads of work to do and i can't wait i can't wait and i'm, I'm not going to touch it till then and it's going to be so hard because i've got so much to do on saturday haircut night out oh good times man very happy i've had a hard week at work so there we go that is the end of the second season i hope you enjoyed it enough to come back with the third season enough to smash the thumbs up enough to maybe even comment and let me know what you think i really do want to know what you think and I really want to go to bed. I might not look it. I'm looking at myself right now. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> so badly want my bed. Anyway, thank you very much. Your view is the most important thing. I love you long time. I really, really do. Hopefully I'll see you again. Hopefully. Stay happy. Stay safe. I'm booed. Bye-bye.